Hi everyone, uh, my name is Anthony Annex Agoru and I am a, uh, a poet. I've written something for your graduation, the gala, uh, a, a poem, a short poem, as a way of uh, congratulating you all on your wonderful achievement at this very difficult time that we're all living through. Uh, I'll read you the poem. When they first mentioned the word lockdown, Windows and doors began to slowly close. Outside was still outside, the streets noisy with distant crisp packets, the wind free to be itself. When they said we all had to stay home, that some of us would need to upskill or retrain, that this would be a year of resilience. We stayed awake at night until suddenly weeks turned into blank faces. One by one, words fell out of newspapers like loose beads, cold as forgotten postcodes, heavy with concrete hitting crisis point, a worry in the size of the world. When lack of opportunities drove youth unemployment, wrapped in the wire of economic long COVID, impacting tomorrow's possibility, when the infrastructure required to support young people collapses, those will grow into healthier seasons, into programmers, artists and business people. When that goes missing, what happens then? Across the country, some of us sunk further into ourselves. We drew the curtains across the entire year. Our phones didn't need charging, empty screens filled with light. A time of difficulty, as uncertain as a future, looking for a solution. How do we bring out the best in us all when one person shouldn't need to be more than themselves? As the months rolled downhill, some of us had to try harder while family members grew sick, loved ones were in trouble. Those born on the finish line seemed to have it all in place, while others didn't even have a solid internet connection. Against the odds we persevered, pulled mud from the lake to raise a golden fountain, rebuilt the sky for a new flight of birds, we made peace with the turmoil, believed in the tunnel's light, until at last when they said congratulations, when they said well done, it was then our lives were given a new beat to march to, a new sound to make and explore. Now the windows of the world are opening again. I can hear the parade outside, a band of colours rich and vibrant. We stand on the shoulders of each other's success. We invent ladders and we climb until one morning the future arrives at your door, knocking bright and brilliant, and you run over with all your heart to say, come on in and welcome home.